everyone welcome to discovery natural today we're going to be washing tolerance here with products from my dna and these products are available at your local beauty supply store we first start off by rinsing our hair with water to help soften our hair after that is done i'm putting our hair into four sections and then i'm going to start applying the sulfate free shampoo this shampoo helps remove build up and without stripping the hair and the consistency is liquidy but it has a kind of silky feeling to it we're going to apply it to the scalp and then to the all the areas of our hair that needs to be cleansed I'm going to be using my shampoo brush to help loosen any buildup that I also see in there. Once we've applied the shampoo and everything, we now start rinsing the hair to remove all the shampoo product. After shampooing, it's important to deep condition the hair to help soften it furthermore. Now this is what our hair looks like, it's very soft and it is so fresh and I just love the softness and the appearance of it after we've washed and shampooed it. And now we're going to take the oil. The oil, I like it because it's really good as a scalp treatment. I'm just applying it to a scalp in different areas. So after we've applied it, I like putting it on the edges especially and then giving our hair some kind of little scalp massages. I've been teaching her how to scalp massage our own hair, so here's us showing you how to do it. So now it's time to style the hair. I sectioned the hair into four sections like this to give it a layered look. We're going to apply the leave-in conditioner and it also detangles. It has a lock system so once you unlock it, the spray is what you see very light and very not heavy at all. So just go and you spray it all over the hair. Make sure you get each strand of the hair and work it through. You can detangle the hair at this point. I use my finger a lot so we're gonna start um, section our hair for the twist and I'm just doing chunky twist I'm making sure I get the castor oil again to our scalp and also to the length of our hair we'll be using the hair butter which as is not a thick butter it's a very light butter but it works really well in keeping our hair very moisturized We've used this butter in the past and it has never ceased to fail us. So this is a new one that we've not used before. This is their custard and their custard it professes to provide definition, freeze free and bounce and I tell you it worked really well. Um, I'm really grateful that my DNA decided to send this over to us because we absolutely love the product. I did a rope twist out on our hair and I'm doing the rope twisting method right here that you see and the rope twisting method gives you a better definition you can decide to coil the ends like that but keep on watching I'm going to show you something you do to even make the ends appear more curly so keep watching The Bantu loop method is very simple. All you just do is take the hair and twirl the ends along each other to kind of create a Bantu knot at the end of the hair. And this is what it looks like. And it's easy that even your child could do it, but it's always good to show by example. So now we just have to wait for the hair to dry and once it has dried we can start unraveling it very gently and I will show you how we separate the hair to give it a vo big volume because you know usually first day hair doesn't have a lot of volume but this method I'm going to show you will create more volume. So what I'm doing is that I will just be doing kind of like a fanning method and just spreading the curls or the twist apart and this for us creates big hair, big volume and with the products we use it still keeps the definition as you can see right there. 
So this is what our hair looks like and it is voluminous and it has nice shine, nice balance and we're going to kind of jazz it up a little bit with bobby pins and she's been liking uh, having designs with bobby pins in our hair and we absolutely love how it looks. So after the bobby pins have been applied, you can create different designs but we like this star design for bobby pins. We also creep in some hair jewelry just to make the twist out kind of pop, kind of look a little bit different. So just hone it, make it your own, style it the way you like it and this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below. Make sure to share it to the world. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.